We are going to ask a question. And the question is, can good single malt come from the U.S.? Can good single malt whiskey come from somewhere else than Scotland? I think my opinion on that, on that statement or that question uh, has changed quite a bit. The reason why is I had a chance uh, two weeks ago to try a single malt from New Mexico. And the name of that single malt is Cole Keegan. Now, never heard of it. Never even heard of it. Uh, so today we are going to try this. Cole Keegan is a New Mexico uh, single malt that have been crafted by somebody who actually is a single malt lover. Believe it or not, he didn't even think very far from what you would think uh, his, his name came from. His name is Colin Keegan, and he called his whiskey Cole Keegan, so to his name. But his Santa Fe spirit that he created, the men love Orchard, he love, uh, you know, making just some brandy at home. But really love single malt and wanted to see if he worked in New Mexico and voila, we have. So today we're not trying just one, we're trying all three of their expressions. Uh, the first one uh, that we have is Asian White American Oak. The second one that we have uh, is also in White American Oak. But the difference between these two that we have here. I believe is the is the proof one is castrate and one is not and then the third one that we have um, have been aged in a finished apple brandy so the brandies that the brandy that he made from his orchard uh, when he's done fin you know finishing this brandy in this cask you age his single barrel now something very interesting about this single barrel uh, this single malt is actually he have found a way to give it um, character. That's the best way to put it, to give it character. And the character come from, he used mesquite to smoke his, his uh, malted barley before this goes into the wash, which give it a specific character. So without further ado, we are going to try the one age in American single malt. And because of the New Mexico, New Mexico weather. Uh, this whiskey is not over three years. They're literally three years, three year, three to four years. And this one is a forty. Yeah, is a ninety-two percent, forty-six percent ABV. So the first one aged in American single, uh, American white American oak, very light. You know, yellowish gold, nothing. The nose, the nose is plummy, apple, but it has that weird funk to it on the nose. Maybe it's just a glass. Let's switch glass. Let's switch glass. Okay, there's the glass. I was just feeling a little bit of that funkiness, but I don't think it's... You get a little bit of those beautiful notes of uh, of plum, citrus on the nose. Beautiful color for whiskey that's not even five years old. So if we have to compare this to scotch, scotch obviously because of the temperature in Scotland takes about 10 years before you see, you know, at least six years or more to see any color. In New Mexico, if you know the temperature is dry, it's hot. So obviously... You know, um, uh, aging and barrels actually are much more active. All right, let's taste it. This is beautiful single malt. Yep. On the note, on the first note, immediately is you get beautiful apple citrus notes on front. Not sharp at all as a new whiskey. Um, no zing at all comes from it. 
just fruity, very fruity. But that mesquite comes mid palate. You remind me, you remind me of a almost a little slight of a barbecue, like when something is being on the get on the grill right away, but it's not strong. The fruity notes are perfectly there. The, the malt, the chewiness of the malt comes in, but it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful note. I I can't believe this is this is a young distillate age and and you know beautiful single malt with some mes mesquite so this is their small batch that they do if you look at it that's what it looks like i don't know i want to know what that tastes like uh, at castring that's really what i'm curious of what that would taste like at castry. So same same juice, but one is this is 118 proof, so 59% ABV. I'm very curious to see what that same juice about the same age would taste like a castor. And a castor, and we have a green one right here. And that's what it looks like. And I'm very curious what that would taste like. The note is more pungent here. Yeah, all the big citrusy notes are coming up. A little bit of that smoke that I'm, I'm getting. Just a little bit of that smoke, but not too much. Not too much at all. Let's taste it. Mmm. I like it better at castrate. More strong note. That smokiness hits you in the back. Mid note wise, you get more of that, more of those those like esters that come up from that barrel. The oak comes in. It really plays a lot with your palate, right there. Whoa, yeah, you get more of it, but the fruitiness is there. It's probably the most constant note is those plum, apple, citrus notes that stay right there honestly you could have fooled me you definitely could have fooled me if you told me this was a scotch i will have believed the person if you told me this came from the united states and especially new mexico i'd be like nah but you could have fooled me this Definitely is. Whoa. But New Mexico, Mr. Colin Keegan, making it happen. But I'm going to finish the last one in um, my Wisdom Glass, the American Glass. Shout out to Wisdom Glass for sponsoring our show and providing us with the glass. I'll put the description in the and I'll put the, the code in the description. If you want yourself a beautiful uh, wisdom glass, uh, from what you can see here, it's a beautiful, beautiful glass. Bottom heavy. Um, just beautiful. But, oh, the apple brandy definitely has a funky note to it. Oh. Like, I don't get... Get more, a little more pepperiness. Oh. Yeah, I get like those dry fruit notes. It's almost like getting some cherry notes. But knowing that is apple brandy, I don't know where those come from. A more dry food note, nothing more, you know, like nothing strong really, but mainly more dry fruit notes. Um, the ABV on this one is 46. So, yeah, 46 or so 92, but it drinks much more stronger. And I think because of the oak, 
and those dry, dry cherry, like they give me those cherry note. Does you still get that citrus? Like the constant note here is citrus apple, citrus apple, a little bit of smoke, citrus apple, a little bit of smoke. But as you move from the regular one to the castrin to the finish in a brandy, there is just a slight vari variation that you see in the note that you almost have to pay attention to to know the difference. If if I was pour this in a blind, I definitely will fail quite a bit, honestly. Hmm. Delicious. But here you have it. Cole Keegan. New Mexico is coming with the heat. Providing you with three. And I think they have special editions also at the distillery that you can try. But three, three single malts. That are Mexican made. Mesquite smoke. 100% malted barley. Finished in American, you know, American oak. Delicious. Who have fooled me, who have taken me to school. If you told me this wasn't scotch, I wouldn't believe it. But I wanted to share this with you all to know that truly there's so much to discover out there that you have to let your palate travel. I'm a scotch snub and you could have gotten me, anybody could have gotten me with this one. If they told me it was just a single malt that just had a little bit of smoke with it, I would have believed them. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you're here, make sure you support. If you have any questions, make sure you comment uh, so I can give you more details. But I will see you next time. Cheers.